right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we had a data download um, here on JP Dokkan. Not a big data download whatsoever. Um, again, I do really strongly believe um, that th we are in sort of kind of like the shuffled around portion of the schedule for Dokkan still. Um, I expect we'll see the movie stuff probably, you know, mostly uh during july i think for jp dokan um potentially in two weeks we could see stuff in the game as well but the tanabata celebration seems right um i like almost never like like animations to me typically look good right like usually like most animations are good enough even i would say that the blues here like there's some really choppy looking stuff to me that tells me they were rushed um presumably because of the movie delay right um, and I expect another, we'll get celebration details in what, like seven and a half hours. Um, I do expect another, I don't want to just go stinker of a celebration, but I don't expect a strong celebration coming, um, until the movie stuff happens. I, I think, you know, again, look at Legends and their anniversary being a little bit weird. I really believe Dokkan and Legends were hurt bad by the movie delay, um, having to shuffle stuff up because these characters are made often months in advance, right? So, pretty small um, data download here. We have uh, two Easy A's for Mecha Freeze and Metal Cooler. Freeze, of course, has a Dokkan Awakening as well. Um, we have the banner as well with Jacko and the Blue Goku and Vegeta. So, we might as well just go take a look at the Blue Goku and Vegeta right here. Um, okay. So, thinking about the character and using them a bit, I, I feel as though uh, Gohan and Cell are definitely better. I feel like, like for sure, for sure. I, I feel very confident saying that. Um, I, if I just had to immediately jump into something, right? Like a top, you know, TURs, I'd probably go Ginyu, Androids, Gohan, Cell, probably this unit. And then like Super Saiyan 3, Goku, then Kid Buu or something like that is, is I think where I would be at. Um, this character's leader skill, this is an important one to get on a top tier character, which this unit is. They've got a good 200% because it's all these, like, UI Gokus, God Vegeta, God Goku, stuff like that. But I feel like this is a, a leader skill that's going to grow, right? Like, this is going to get better. We're going to get, I think, more buffs for these types of, you know, God characters, Goku, Vegeta, UI Goku, Evolution Blue Vegeta. All of this type of stuff is going to continue to improve, right? Especially, you know, best case scenario... You know, after the movie, you know, talk of the anime comes back, you know, the moral arc gets, you know, covered, uh, the granola arc gets covered. If that happens, if, if Dokkan starts getting characters from the moral and granola arcs, this, you guys have no idea how insane this leader skill is going to get, right? Like this, all that craziness that happens in the manga is, would be 200% on this team. So this is a good leader skill. I, I would say right now. I, I think many leader skills are better. I think Goku and Gohan's leader skill is better. Cell's leader skill is better. Uh, the seventh anniversary LR's leader skill is better, right? But like this is a leader skill that I think can grow very powerful as time goes on. So it, it's this is a little bit more of a potential thing, but I do like this team. Um, so Goku to me, I, I feel like he's like uh you could compare him a bit favorably to Kid Buu. Um, the only thing is, I feel like if you're running Goku with characters where you're not getting a lot of these links activated, um, I, I mean, honestly, the two most important, like, uh, in my head I'm thinking of is Prepare for Battle and Resurrection F, right, to get a lot of that extra defense. But besides that, I feel like this Goku will perform well. Um, for me, like, he was, you know, jumping out the gate, doing a lot of damage turn one, because remember, he does have the uh, additional with the high chance for a super attack. So... That'll be good. Goku will stack up. Um, his stats really can get quite impressive once you build this up. Um, and then you could swap with Vegeta on turn four. Very beautiful condition. Just turn four is, is very, very good. Now, Vegeta. Um, Vegeta is very ridiculous, right? So, Vegeta gets one key and 25% chance to crit per Rainbow Key Sphere. Um, someone pointed out to me that the reason he has this right here is definitely set that the pathing will go for the rainbow orbs because Vegeta eats off of them so much. Four rainbow key spheres and Vegeta does a guaranteed crit. It's just silly. That's silly, right? 
with Vegeta being able to guarantee crit and considering he's creating key orbs and then also considering that I mean dude this this character right here is like his best friend um I mean we're talking about a situation because this character has five out of seven links only resurrection f and godly power like like resurrection f and what is it super god combat those are the only two links that are not activated um over here so things are definitely looking good right um i think that this vegeta you want to give him full additional and he will put on a show right because if this guy is going to be shooting out you know 10 million attack stats, guaranteed crits, and you have full additional, and he pops a second one, the damage Vegeta's doing is ridiculous. Um, you do need to make sure you're getting at least three Rainbow Key Spheres, I think, for that extra 50% defense. But Vegeta, from what I was seeing, guaranteed crit, 10 million attacks, that with like 600k defense or something, is what he was doing. So, I, this is a character that's going to perform very well in the red zone and all the difficult content, I think. You know, he could get tagged by, like, AoE Broly or something like that, sure. Um, but, like, this guy is looking super good. This unit is good. Um, I, th that's it. it it's, it's, they're, they're very strong. I like what they're doing here. You definitely do want rainbow orbs for this Vegeta. Um, but you do have several good rainbow orb changers on a lot of these teams, right? Um, remember that it, it is, of course, an exchange unit, right? Um, Goku slash Vegeta. So this is, you know, another Goku family character and stuff like that. Like, we potentially could rock this character on the Goku and Gohan team, right? With that amazing Goku family and um, Super Saiyan leader skill that they have. So this character's looking good. I, I, I do like them quite a bit. I think they're going to be a fun character to use. I do wish, you know, some of the rough edges on the animations were a bit better, but I do seriously think it was not it, it was out of dokkan's hands like i i don't think we can really blame dokkan too much for that um or at least i don't i mean you can sure whatever but I, i'm not really gonna be i like golden week i'm gonna do a video like reviewing the golden week celebration i do think the golden week celebration was pretty bad um but I, it's not something where it's like i feel like i need to get on the thing and really criticize i would say the same thing with legends anniversary even though it's i think really quite bad so far I don't want to go on, like, some, like, campaign, like, it's unacceptable, we need better, because it's, like, I think both games just got screwed by the movie delay. Um, so, I think Legends Anniversary would be a million times better, <clears throat> if not for the movie delay. And I think these guys, <clears throat> you know, probably were meant to come out in, like, October or some shit. I, I, dude, I've, I don't know, right? Something like that, and their animations are probably going to be a lot better. Or maybe this was, you know, I was going to come out in July or something. Who knows, right? Um, <clears throat> Alright, so next we have Jacko. Now, Jacko is good, right? Um, he has a 70% chance to dodge as the first attacker in a turn. The thing about this, I, I do think, I think the wiki should, should update this because, oh, wait, wait, does this, yeah, I think the wiki should update their wording because, you know, the way that typically you see this, um, for like AGL Birder and these characters, uh, STR Trunks and Goten, they have to super attack first, then they can dodge. Jacko doesn't work like that. Jacko gets the 70% chance to dodge as the first unit in the rotation. So that means Jacko dodges before he attacks, right? Which is really good. That really helps him out. 70% um, chance to dodge, 70% chance to stun. He's a super battle road killer, for sure. The only thing is that I don't know why they didn't give him support. I think looking at this Jacko character... He needs to be a support type unit as well. If he just simply gave even two key 30% attack and defense, three key 30% attack and defense to all allies, uh, this would be a significant character. Because if you look at his link set, like, dude, this is rough, right? Like, this is rough bringing him in, in here. He's not on a ton of teams, right? He's going to link up terribly. He's going to be a great option in any Super Battle Road stage you can bring him in. Like, you know, Movie Heroes is getting an extreme Super Battle Road stage within the next, I don't know, six months on JP. So, probably in that range. Um, I will definitely, when I do the no item run, Jacko will definitely be there. For sure. Carrying the run. Um, Jacko is, I, I mean, I feel like you'd almost say he's, a, a like, as far as a defensive unit goes, he's like a little bit of a better AGL UI Goku, right? Because he's got the 70% chance to dodge. Except he's got a 70% chance to stun right here. And then I think once Jacko builds up his defense, his defense is higher. 
than AGL UI Goku, right? Um, one good thing about Jacko is this. This is so big for him, considering his his link set, right? Again, it's it's just it's it's bizarre. It's you know, like that these types of characters, I, I like what they did with him. I do think Jacko is worthy of a banner unit like this, but you got to give this guy like a little bit of key support or orb changing or something, right? For sure. To help sort of smooth over the rough edges. Because like, you know, just tossing him in the movie hero team, I, dude, like, are you going to run him with Tapion? Uh, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's, I, I'm not a fan. And like LR Tape and Minosha, you know, remember I was talking about them when they came out. It's stupid that their support buff is sibling bond and story figures, right? Like, if they're, they were a summonable LR, LR Tapian and Minosha, I don't really see why they couldn't have just been, you know, four key, 40% attack and defense, all types of support. Why not? Right? Summonable LR. Um, Jacko will be good, but, you know, th this is not a character that I feel like is, he's, like, how high would I put him on the best banner units? I don't know, but. Uh, there, uh, you know, I like 19 and 20 better. Rakum and Goldo, Jason Bird, or a lot of these characters. Um, you know, Jacko will help in specific situations, but they could have given him a bit better to smooth things over. I think. Um, next, we have LR Metal Cooler. Now, this character, I don't know. Looking at him, this guy needs big bad. Like when I was using him, he definitely needs and wants big bad bosses to be activated. That is essential, I think, for this guy. Um, right now, his teams are pretty dead. Like, we could run him on the Ginyu Terrifying Conqueror team, but, like, that team is not really built around this type of character right here. Big bad bosses. Like, that's the only thing about Ginyu as a Terrifying Conqueror leader. I'm just not a fan, right? Um, maybe this guy could be good if the movie boss team gets, like, a real, you know, movie boss leader during, uh, the movie stuff. I think, you know, Sal or Android 21, whoever the hell it is. Um, I think that could be pretty good. Because th th these are not legitimately well actually turles well hold on this is a legit team yeah yeah that's hmm i wonder how metal cooler would do on just a turles movie bosses team uh, he would probably perform better than on ginyu's team for sure obviously with the turles is around big bad bosses stuff like that i don't know i i'm i don't know with this guy um i feel like if they're gonna drop a dokkan fest metal cooler who's like you know above Ginyu or something like that this year. And then this is like a slot two unit for that guy. That would be very interesting to me, right? Where this guy might have like six out of seven with this theoretical meta cooler I'm talking about. He'd be given this support type buff right here, which I, I do like. Three key is nice, right? Um, and then this guy, you know, gets a lot of additional supers. So, you know, you get these defensive raises. I, I think this guy could be pretty good. Um, he could, certainly could be pretty good. All right, next we have Mecha Frieza. So this is a Super Strike character. Um, he is a, you know, Dokkan Awakening, and of course he's got an easy A, right? So he raises defense for one turn, lowers attack. That's good. I like that. 100% attack and defense with 6 key. Another 100% attack and defense with 9 key. Another 50% attack and defense with 12 key. Interesting. Okay. 250%. Remember, he's like free to play so well huh okay it's i mean the stats aren't these are like banner unit stats right let's look at jacko's stats uh, jacko's got less attack but yeah see like these are these are like kind of like equivalent to banner unit stats right here okay not really too bad right there um let's see then he gets another 50 percent attack and defense if the enemy is in attack down status which he applies. So if you go additionals, you get the double defensive raise, you're lowering enemy attack, um, and then he's getting another 50% attack and defense. He gets another 100% defense if all allies are wicked bloodline. I'm not the biggest fan of that. High chance of performing a crit if all allies are revived warrior. Um, This guy is not... I feel like he's not a throwaway. But, like, let me be real for a second. This is not how you build a free-to-play character, right? It This looks good on paper. If this is the kit for, like, a summonable unit... Yeah, I mean, sure, it's... You know, he, he his stats aren't that bad, right? Comparatively for a lot of 
free to play characters, but it's like this is just like this is what they you know this is what a summonable character like should look like with you know oh 100 percent here 100 percent here 100 percent here like i feel like with this type of character you want more like tech stuff right uh support um orb changing you know guard uh, dodge damage reduction scouter something like that right um i i would like to see what his defense looks like though like with all of these conditions up you know, full Wicked Bloodline rotation, he could be okay. I, I could see this guy being, like, a spot option. He looks to me to be better than that really bad SDR Trunks who came out during the Golden Week celebration, but I don't... This guy's not, like, some god or anything. Maybe it's not so bad that he has this Wicked Bloodline condition, because, like, look at these teams. I mean, you're probably going to be running him with mostly Wicked Bloodline characters. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's not too bad. He, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Let, let me see what his stats look like in-game first before I go too crazy. Um, and that's basically it, right? Again, not really too much. Pretty basic. We'll get Celebration info in a few hours. We'll uh, we'll see what's going to go on here. Um, but I, I don't really expect the Celebration to be the craziest ever. I just want to, you know, let people know that going into it. Um, the other thing I would say is... So, if we take a look at the calendar here, right? Um, we'll definitely get EZAs next week. So, you know we'll in a week we're gonna get the you know data download i assume right people are people keep talking about freeze and sorbet easing doesn't look like it I, I, if they were gonna easy i think they'd be in this data download right here i think we'll probably see the blue vegetas get their sub easy so if i pull this up um i think we are going to see this guy this guy and this guy, easy A. Everyone's going to want the Tech Blue Vegeta and then the Physical Goku. I, You know what's funny? They can actually be okay. Yeah, With easy A's, they'd be nasty as hell. It'd be awesome. But, like, they're actually still sort of runnable, right? Like, I'm, I'm going to be able to do, you know, I'm going to use this you know, Goku and Vegeta team to no item every stage of Red Zone. I very well will probably be using this guy against Omega. And I'm probably going to be using this guy against Broly, right, to get the no-item run done. And I think we're going to get it done. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, the, these three should easy A. I think they're going to be sub-easy A's. The main easy A, I think, is probably just going to be in Angel, Golden, Frieza. He's the next in line. And it makes sense with this celebration to, to easy A a Golden, Frieza. Um, and I would imagine, right, so like, again, Vegeta, sub-easy A's, and Angel, Golden, Frieza this week. I think this week... We'll probably be an LR Golden Frieza, a part two LR Golden Frieza, I assume, will happen there. Um, we always get an LR in the middle of June. Um, and then I think the final week, this is going to be Dragon Ball Super Superhero stuff, um, is when we're going to see it. So, we're closing in. It's exciting, right? I mean, there's talk of Gohan potentially having a new form, like, actually serious. Like, not just, like, me going, oh, it's going to be so sick using God Gohan, right? But there's actually, like, talk of Gohan getting it, like you know, a new form, a higher power, you know, Cell 21, like, it looks like there's actually going to be some good stuff, right, Broly is in the movie, so, like, we could see some cool, uh, I think, characters coming to Dokkan, which will be nice, so, let me know what you guys think, again, we just got to make it through this celebration, which I think is going to be a little bit subpar, um, and then we're going to probably have some, cr July is going to be the best month in Dokkan history, probably, because it's going to be 7th anniversary on Global, which 7th anniversary is the best celebration in Dokkan history, easily, um, and then JP is going to be getting the movie stuff. So it's just going to be completely flames, I think. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.